Welcome back everyone and I'm going to be reviewing a website called kikagoods.com. This is a website that sells a lot of vinyl figurine collectibles and blind boxes, Pop Mart as well as some other brands that I've only heard of recently. They're very similar to the Pop Mart official web store except obviously they carry multiple brands and I think they have an AliExpress store as well. That's actually where I found them but they have their own website where they often have sales and a lot of the blind box figures are actually cheaper. So I went ahead and bought from them because after a certain amount, you do get free shipping. Here is the box my purchase came in. It was wrapped with a plastic, a bluish plastic wrapping, which I thought was interesting and really appreciated to make sure that the box, if slightly damaged, has some form of protection. As with many things I tend to buy, this was definitely an impulse after spending many, many months deciding whether or not I wanted to get a full case of those really expensive figures because a lot of them, I do see them around shops like Kino Kunya but they're often inflated in price. Um, I think the last few that I purchased were about $15 each, 15 to 20, which is crazy. And for a blind box figure, I'm very particular about many things, particularly figures. So I tend to not gravitate towards them, even though I really want to try and buy one. So the fact that these were discounted and I could buy the full case, it worked out a lot better. What, whatever figures I get that I don't want, I'm definitely going to either try and sell off or just give to my friends. So I have not really looked inside the box. I just opened it to kind of get an idea of exactly what I purchased. But the reason I figured out this was from Kika Goods is because there was a ni nice little envelope at the top with my invoice. And the invoice has everything that I purchased. In total, about, about eight items. A couple of these are full sets of blind box sets, blind box series of figures, I mean. So let's go ahead and open this up because I was really excited for this order. And this box is what, very well packaged, which I very much appreciate because these are collectible figurines and they're very pricey. So it's, I'm glad to see that they pack them so well. Wow, they bowl wrap everything. That's pretty cool. Um, here you can see my massive order. Wow, that's uh, very ridiculous. You guys will also have to forgive me for the state of my nails. I painted them a couple days ago and they're already chipping. I didn't use gel polish this time. Um, and regular polish just cannot withstand my work days. So this is, this is okay. Um, I'll probably just set this on my bed and just pull things out of this. But let me grab this first thing that looks like a tote bag. Is this a free gift? I do like reusable tote bags. Oh wow. That's pretty cute. Okay. Oh, this is cute. So here is the back of it. Now this character, I believe, does have its own figure line. Um, and they were really cute, honestly, but they're not really my style. So, so this is a little, so this is a medium sized tote bag. It's not, you know, all too big, but it would make a good little thing to carry for small shopping trips or if you're just going for a, sh a small grocery run. All right. So here's everything that I purchased. I know I said eight items, but some of these I did purchase more than one box for just because I wanted a good chance of getting um, the one that I wanted, or at least one of the ones that I wanted from the series. I'm very picky, so for certain series, um, I mainly purchased multiple because I liked multiple in the set, and I feel like I wouldn't be as disappointed with what I got if I got multiple. And because obviously, um, I liked more than one from the set. If I only like one of them in a blind box set, I probably won't even bother, be just because it's so unlikely that I'll get it. But let's go ahead and get started. I keep forgetting to turn on my mic, so I apologize for the cruddy audio before this clip. <laughs> but also, I'm going to start with the one that primarily made me want to purchase from their their shop. This is the Kayla X. Um, I don't know if that's part of the name, number 1922. And as you can see, this is kind of a, 
an asylum themed series. I don't know if there's a base to it. The thing with a lot of these figure companies that I'm seeing pop up like Pop Mart and such is that they tend to have a base for each of their figurine lines. For example, the Pop Mart babies that I have, you know what, I have one right here. Um, there's multiple series of these little Pop Mart babies, um, but they all more or less have the same shape. They have the I guess bean shape and then they sculpt things around it to fit the theme so they're each more or less wearing different costumes but it's mainly the same character same with this figurine i can't remember what series he belongs to but they all more or less have the same face and style of hair and then they just switch up the bodies and all that and the pose is usually the same as well this can be hit or miss for me because I, if i don't like the base i'm really not going to be interested in getting one of the figurines even though I like the theming for example one of them I'll put a picture on the screen of the one I'm talking about has a really really cool uh, themed line but I just don't like the helmet that the figures wear and that's the primary reason I just never picked it up even though I really really wanted one of them so I'm not sure if this one follows the same theming that it has like a base and then all the characters um, for each series or sculpted differently but what I liked about this one if that is the case is that they're all varyingly different. Um, the only thing I really notice that's the same in every figure is the shape of the face and the style of the eyes or the shape of the eyes really because even the style of the eyes are so different. Here you can see and I actually already purchased two of these from Kunio Kunio. They were extremely expensive. I think $20 each but they were just so cool I couldn't pass it up and I actually got the one I wanted the most this purple one. The night watcher on my first try so i was really happy and i went ahead and bought another um and the second one i got was chaotic whose base um they don't connect to their base but they do have this magnetic face shield that i thought was really cool it's a little hard to position but these figures are so well detailed and painted and i love the theming it's they're so cool And then also the box is really cool. Look at that. So really cool. And let's see who I got. Oh no, I think I got, oh no, wait, she's different. Yay got the little praying girl and she's also purple so that is a plus and a lot of these have an extra accessory so she comes with a little bible i think hers was the candle and then the other one was the face shield and what's really cool about this particular line of figures is that their card is clear most of these series tend to come with a character card to tell you exactly who you got and this one is the plastic clear one it's super cool they look like x-rays my only concern with these is that she doesn't really have anywhere to hold her bible this is just a prop a really cute prop but um like the the other one that's leaning there's really no, nothing attached to her to her base and she's kind of top heavy um so she'll definitely be on display and hopefully i don't ever lose her bible but here's a good look at it really cute very tiny reminds me of Raymond. Oh my gosh. And here is what their bases look like. Really cool. So I'm going to put her over there and let's go for a cute one. The next one is the Secret, Secret Bear Garden series. These are wrapped, surprisingly. I, I think this is the only series I've seen that wraps the box with plastic. And depending on the one that I get, I may or may not open it if it comes with little extra accessories. Baby ghost bear, so cute. Here's a better look at what you can get. I'm really just hoping to get some of the darker shaded ones or the darker themed ones. Does this not have a tear strip? I guess not. Oh, the bag's really cute. The cards in there. Let's keep it a surprise. Wow. Oh, it's so 
cute. Wow, this is huge. No wonder they're so expensive. Oh, his eyes and mouth are glittery. I'm not a fan of glitter, to be honest, but it looks cute on him. So it does come with this chip, which I learned from my Pop Mart video that um, it's often used to make sure people don't cheat by bringing a kitchen scale to the store and weighing the figurine box. Um, that way they can tell which one they're going to get. So, so to keep it fair, they add these little chips, which are varying weights, I believe, to even out the weight so you don't know, which I thought was very interesting and kind of cool. So here's a little figurine. It is glossy, which I was not expecting. It's very heavy too. It's definitely not the same weight as um the other girl. Very nice quality. It does have the licensing on the bottom. It says it says fun and skin wool. I can barely read it. Um, but I like that it comes with a dangling chain. And it does stand on its own, which is great. Here is the adorable character card. I love the fact that it looks like a stamp. A postage stamp and then I'm assuming that goes to their social media something also fell out of the box and landed on the floor and I believe it's the same thing just a little character card so really cute I'm really excited about this now but let's change it up let's go for this big boy so this is from a series called Misia and they actually have two series that I've seen on AliExpress that I was interested in purchasing, but Mika Goods only had this series on their website. So I went ahead and bought two or three boxes. How many did I buy? I bought three. Wow, I'm ridiculous. There we go. That's a little bit more room. Also, these do have licensing stickers on them. Cool. I don't think the others had that. Or maybe they did and I didn't notice. But here's the ones you can get. Really pretty. I love the style, the checkerboard in the back. And this has a pop. Oh, wow, this is huge. Okay, maybe maybe I was wrong for complaining about the price because I was not expecting these sizes. Um, so it makes sense now that they're that expensive. Oh, we got pink feet. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's very, very cute, but I just don't care for the colors. Um... Wow, this is interesting. I like that um, her hair is very glossy, and so is her hat. Her wrist sleeves, and they're clear, clear plastic. Her face is really, really pretty, though. Um, it's well painted. A little spotty, I think. I feel like the paint job was better on the other one. Um, her legs are interesting, but they're in a matte finish. She's really cute, though. And, oh, cool. So she does come with her own base. And here is what the card, character card in her box looks like. Incredible Dancing Party. I'm assuming that's the name of this series. There she is. So cute, just not really my style. So I'm probably not going to keep her. I know exactly who I'm going to offer this doll to. That's what she reminds me of is just a doll. I like the detailing of her knees. It makes her look even more like a doll. But again, just not my thing. Really cute though and huge. Oh my goodness. And she also came with silica gel. I just realized I haven't been telling y'all which ones I've been getting. Um, so this one is called Hakuya. And she, I feel like her legs are not as vibrant as the picture. Um, but... I just realized that I actually got the secret one from the garden list or the secret bear garden series. So that's really cool because I got so lucky. Let's go ahead and go with another garden bear and see if I can get one of the regular ones because I am after a couple of them. And I just appreciate how much variety they have. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Um, so I got Safe Cracker. He's so cute. This little pastel blue. Oh my goodness. The window on the back of his head. It does not open, but that's fine. Again, the paint job is really, really pretty. Super glossy and shiny. His eyes, again, they're not 
they do have some glitter in them but i think they used some kind of clear shimmer instead because it's not as a uh, shiny as the other one which is fine with me i love the heart in the center oh my goodness and the hat is so cute so here's that one and that one also came with the plastic chip for the weight distribution. All right, let's go back to a cute one. Let's do this one. This is the one that I bought on Impulse. I'm not really too big of a fan of most of these. Um, I just kind of wanted to see their quality. And if I could get maybe this one, or I think I saw the secret one and I liked it, but I mean, what's the chances of that? They are cute though, and they do have licensing. Uh, Kokoya seems to be the name the boxes to all of these are so cute this one has a hair strip which is very helpful again very hefty size oh snap she has a blister oh actually this is um one of the ones that i wouldn't mind did not mind getting because of her muted colors i do like oh her purse can move that's actually really cute her eyes are a little crooked though she's just staring off into space and they're yeah they're a little off they're off center a little and it's kind of throwing me off her mouth is kind of creepy too <laughs> but she's really cute i like her sculpted details and the paint job for the most part she is a matte finish but um the top of her skirt or the skirt itself i think is in a slightly metallic sheen you can see the shine a little and then here's her bag or purse that's actually a really cute detail and then her shoes so really cute these are nice if you're really into the style i think these are worth the price tag the only thing i don't like is she does not come with a base but here's her character card i have no idea who i got because it's in a different language let's see if she can stand on her own without the base nope she can't so that's a shame i really wish they had included something that she could stand on her own with i might just have to put her back in the blister and leave her like that all right let's go back to this one i'm really hoping for any of them that is not the pink one at this point maybe that one i don't i don't want that one either I would love Raola. She looks so cute. Absolutely adore Waltz and Carlos as well. And then I don't think I saw the secret. I don't remember what it looked like. Let's see who I got. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm so upset. So I got the blonde and bright pink one. Fitari, good for you. <laughs> Just don't care. Get on the base. I'm not even going to take the base out of the packaging. Just leave it in there and let's move on. I'm going to give the pink ones a try. So this is wow 52 or is that the company so these again were also impulse buys just because i was interested in how they did the effects for these they, they look very animated i can't say i would really want any of these um but some i would prefer than more than others i think i liked the water one in the stock photos the most and then obviously there's a secret one but the artwork on the box is really really pretty they have a tear strip and i like the water theming obviously oh these come in a blister okay so they're uh wow oh my gosh it's gorgeous it's gorgeous just not my style so the box had this inside which i'm assuming is some kind of coupon that i can't use oh snap it's a lenticular card that's so cool well this definitely makes it worth your money i think then it came with some silica gel and here is the figure oh wow 
it's really pretty. I don't want to take the plastic off because this is definitely one I'm probably going to sell off or give to a friend. I wonder if I could repaint her in my colors. She's really, really pretty. I will say that. Um, who did I get? Um, oh, I got the first one. First one on the box, the little seashell girl. Really, really cute and really nicely painted. Um, everything but her hair and the shell are a matte finish. And then her hair has this metallic sheen and the shell is nice and glossy. So really cute. Um, there's the licensing 52 toys. All right, we're down to four more boxes. I'm probably gonna open the one in the back since it is a full set in its own video. Um, but I'll, I'll still include it in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. So let's go with a new one. This is the Lovesick Lab from the same Baby Ghost Bear series. Um, this one I wasn't too keen on buying just because a lot of them I wasn't interested in. They have another series as well um, that I just really didn't care for the colors or the, the theming around the, the whole series, so I just didn't care for it. But I was interested in at least a couple of these, so I figured why not? They were on sale as well, I think. This series is phasing out. And they're trying to get rid of most of what they have. Get you a good look at the box. And out of this series, I would love Frankenstein or even Love Hazard. Farewell is really cute too. Love Start. Actually, I think I like a lot of these now that I'm looking at them. Wow. Terrible choices were made. All access, all areas. That's cute. So it looks like the company who makes these is Shin Yu. Oh my gosh, the bag is so cute! Can I just have a poster of this? It says, Shin Wu Baby Ghost Love Bear, Love Sick Lab, now loading. Oh my gosh, I don't want to ruin it, but... <gasps> Actually, who did I get? Oh, wow, this one's interesting. So I got three step potion, which is to be quite honest, a little boring. Um, there is a scratchy coat on the back. I'm not sure what it does. I'm going to leave it alone and because I'm probably going to give this one away or sell it. Um, but here is what it looks like. It's still cute. It's just, eh, it's okay. I, I don't really care for it too much. Although the design of it is pretty interesting. The fact that they put the figurines inside this clear um the clear bottles and i think are, are they stackable yes they're stackable i would just be very nervous about stacking them like that because i live in a mobile home things shake and i i can just imagine it falling off and waking me up in the middle of the night it also came with this qr code card again from the company and then one of those little weight distribution chips so overall, not bad, just not really my thing. I'm running out of room. I'll put you right there. And hopefully I don't knock you over. Let's go back to these little dreamy looking ones. Uh, another impulse buy. I like the, well, I like that it's decorative on the, the box. It makes it look really cool. And the artwork is really pretty. This is again by 52 Toys, so it's probably going to come in a, yeah, I feel the blister in there. Now this one had two that I wouldn't mind getting. Um, this black one, obviously, which is probably really, really hard to get and I'm probably not going to get. But I also like this one here at the top. The rest, eh. They're still really, really pretty though, and that's why I decided to give them a shot. And then there's apparently two secret ones. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and see who I got. Oh no, I see blonde hair. Oh, great. So I think I got the girl on the cover. The blonde angel right there. So really pretty. Um, just again, the exact opposite of my style. She's going straight to Mercari, <laughs> that's for sure. But I'll give you guys a look. Um, I do appreciate that these... You can definitely um, stand on their own. It's really well done. Oh, 
Her paint has some chipping here, actually. A little scuff here at the bottom of her shirt. She's got pointed ears, little inserts for where you would put her wings. I'm not going to open this because, like I said, she's going straight to Mercari. <laughs> but it's still really cool. I appreciate that the clouds are not just generic white and blue. It's a, a rosy gold and pink. And then her halo is white. So yeah, really cool. I don't want to be too disappointed by the end of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and open the third box that I got from the Misia Incredible Dancing Party series. Oh, I would love him, them, whatever. Let's just see who I get. you gotta be kidding. So congratulations everyone. I seem to have gotten the three that I did not want from this series. The exact three. I would have been happy with them and these two, but instead I got that one and those two out of three boxes. Oh my goodness. She's not bad. She's definitely more my colors. I just don't really care for her design. Really pretty, really cute, but again, just not not really speaking to me in that level and these are definitely way too pricey to try again so I'm just going to go ahead and cut my losses um, if they ever get the other series on their website I might be willing to buy more but, but I don't know my luck was just terrible with these um, but again she is pretty little chocolate girl I like her hair everything is matte um, yeah I think everything is matte She's got a little bit of like gray scuffing or something on her paint job in the bodice. Not sure what that is. And then they do have numbers on the bottom. I don't know what that is. And this one is called Ceremony. This opening started off strong and slowly went downhill. So let's hope that um, it ends a little better. Um, because this series is definitely one that I, I like most of them. This is why I don't tend to go for blind boxes. My luck is always terrible. Again, oh, this one's slightly thicker. Thick boy. So this must be a, th a small one. And not really one I care for. Still cute, but this one's all matte. Um, compared to the others, they're all glossy. This one's matte. It, it feels kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Whatever paint they used on this one feels really nice to touch. Um, here's the licensing. Why does it feel like that? It's so smooth. It almost feels like you're, um, touching clay. It's pretty nice. Um, I just don't have really strong opinions. He's cute, but he's not one of the ones that I was really going for. Um, I do like the detail of the water at the top with the clear plastic. And I'm just impressed by all the detail put in these figures. <laughs> I, and I appreciate the fact that, you know, he's carrying the flower. That makes it up for me a little bit. It's really cute, the theming and what he's doing. And that one is called The Last Moment. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cute, actually. And that is all the blind box figurines that I obtained in this haul. Again, I'm going to make a separate video for the Emma or is that what they're called? I don't remember for the series in the back because it is a full set. So there's really no chance of me di being disappointed. I like the first three in this haul and then the rest was just downhill from there. This is mainly why I don't buy blind bag figurines, even though I know I've made multiple videos on them. Just know that whenever I, I make videos of them, it's because I've been thinking about it for months, if not years, and I finally decided to take the plunge. And then I get the haul and I end up disappointed. <laughs> so another lesson learned, but that's just the na nature of blind box items. I knew what I was getting into and I knew there was chances for disappointment. I was just hoping that with multiple chances, I would at least get one that I liked. I am very happy with the Ghost Bear series though. The garden one specifically is really, really cute and I, I really liked a lot of them, especially the two that I was actually hoping to get. With the exception of the secret, that was a nice surprise. I really love the secret one. 
I might look into them um, later on and see if they come out with any other series that I feel like I wouldn't mind getting most of them. All of these figures are definitely beautiful though, and even though I didn't get ones that I would have appreciated a lot more, um, I do think they're well crafted and actually worth the price tag. I do still think you should probably get them at a sale. Kika Goods at the time had sent me a coupon. I have put a lot of stuff in my cart and their website automatically sends you a coupon after you've had certain things in your cart for a while. Um, so I just went ahead and did the purchase because of that coupon and the free shipping. So despite the fact that I didn't really get much of a lot that I wanted, I am still glad that I made this purchase. I would say the one that I'm most disappointed by is definitely this series, just because I got the three out of all of them, I got the three that I didn't want. That just tells you how terrible my luck is. I would like to formally apologize. This series does in fact come with a base. I just, it's very thin and I just found it in the bag, but um, I like this figure a lot more now that it, I know it comes with the base. It's really cute too. It has the drawing of the girl on it. Really cool. And it has pegs for her feet to go under. I can't believe I didn't even notice those. Um, but yeah, that's great that you can actually display her. I do think a lot of the gimmicks with these are really cool. For example, the lenticular character cards, the style of that they were cut. Just a lot of the design work that went into not only the packaging, but the figures themselves and their accessories is really impressive to me. And this definitely puts them at the top of the blind box figure game. If you're planning to buy a bunch of these, I would definitely wait to make sure that you get free shipping. And then hopefully they'll send you a coupon after you've had some stuff in your cart in a while. Kudos to their shipping. It was quite fast. Considering it's coming from China, I believe, it only took them about two weeks to get to me. They sent it through express mail which was very much appreciated and it was tracked the whole way. I also very much appreciate the free tote bag. It's really thick and nice quality. So really impressed, if not a little disappointed, I didn't get the ones that I want, but overall this was a nice experience. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're interested in any of these series, I will put a link in the description of the individual series, but also a general link to kikagoods.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.